Hello once again ladies and gentlemen, it is once again Mac Daddy from Mac Daddy Gaming and we are back on Amnesia the Dark Descent. When we left off, I was standing at a door trying to get into it for at least five good minutes. But we're gonna go ahead and leave that door alone because I looked up what I should do and it did tell me to go back to the guest room because it was broken. But I forgot to use it on that one shut door. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Yes we are. No we're not. Yes we are. No we're not. Yes we are. No, we're not. Yes, we are. yes we are. So, um, right now, Mac Daddy, Mac Daddy Gaming is, um, having some recruiting sessions right now. I'm trying to get some people together to do all their different sorts of, uh, games. I, uh, I, myself, I'm doing, uh, Amnesia, no shit, Mac Daddy, shit, Mac Daddy. <laughs> uh, Emmer, you've seen doing Minecraft. I have a few other guys doing two Gary Spawn, a few other games. Bring us back to that. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Ooh. The key. Please let it be here. Perfect place to hide. See, my friends mentioned that there was a monster in here. I was just like, it didn't come out at me. This is why I miss this place. Let's just have some good patience and wait this out. to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. That's good. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. <gasps> The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. It is indeed. All right, let's move this out of the way. Gotta find the key. a little bit of frame rate issues and Machine room. That was horrible. 
No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, yes, it was, Mac Daddy. Okay, I'm sorry. I went to the university looking for answers. Did you know? I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. You naughty boy. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. Really? As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. You should, Danny. It's all your fault.
guys. Stay cool. Peace.